Good afternoon, my name is Sean Robertson and I'm the Sales and Marketing Director here at Sunseeker International. And today I'd like to welcome you here to the Sunseeker Showcase and give you a good walk around tour of the brand new exciting Manhattan 55. Now many of you will know this boat replaces the Manhattan 52 that was with us from 2017 and what a magnificent successful boat the 52 was with well over a hundred sold in that three-year period. So what makes the Manhattan 55 so different? What makes it the natural successor to the so successful Manhattan 52? So let's start with the exterior and first of all look at the subtle changes that have been made to the bow rail. Still beautiful with a stainless steel but now that centre line, the guard wire that was on the 52, is a beautiful stainless steel welded section all the way through the centre of the rail. Not only safer, but just looks much more substantial. Come down, we come into the air intake, which before was in composite, but now is in a beautiful visible carbon fibre weave. Not only practical, not only lighter weight, but just looks stunning. And with the dark offset of the windows as well, totally changes the exterior profile. But let's carry on round to the stern and we'll start looking at some of the commonalities with the Manhattan 52, but also the major changes. So coming onto the stern, full beam, hydraulic platform, carries over, works very, very well throughout the Sunseeker range. But then we've got the lift up door here, which highlights not only a great storage locker, fenders, ropes, cleaning equipment, but also incorporates the overhead shower when you're coming out of the water. Coming to the centre line, fold away barbecue and the fold away uh, platform seat behind. I mean, what a better place. You know, you just sat here, feet in the water, just stunning place to be. Coming round to the port side, we've got access to the optional crew cabin. Now this can be a storage room. It, this one is set out as a single berth crew with its own ensuite and you've even got great space for a washer dryer down in this area as well. So very, very usable, very flexible, depending on the how the client wants to use the boat. Up the two steps here, we come to the safety gate. Again, easy to use, lift up and open straight up. So again, very easy, very practical. Stern capstans as an option, but again, great for med mooring, makes it very easy. And just little details like this, the lift up lid, when you've tied off your stern line, the tether of the line can be hidden away in that locker. Just keeps the deck lovely and clean and tidy. The aft seating, again, pretty much as the 52 with the fold out teak table and a very copious U-shaped seating here. But look at the stitch detailing now that's been put in onto the seating. It completely changes the feel and look of this aft area. Forward end, we've got the optional bar stools, which again, we're explaining in a minute with the galley, work very well as extending the use of the cockpit. On the port side, we've got a locker that can accommodate the third helm station. So imagine if you are short-handed when you're docking the boat, you've got bow and stern thruster or the Zenta joystick back here, which makes it very, very easy to help the lines as you're docking. And obviously on the starboard side, we've got the stairs to the bridge and a repeat of all of the aft capstans. But what I'd like to do now is take another look at one of the major changes to the 52, which is the engine spec. First of all, let me explain the change. So the 52 had the Volvo D11, the 11 litre, 725 horsepower engines. 55 now has the D13 800s. So another 150 horsepower and probably a, a, a small increase in top speed. We're looking at one to two knots, but the major difference being is that at the cruising speed, it's gonna be a lot easier to, for the client to maintain that 20 to 25 knots, depending on how fast they want to run, but when the boat is full of tenders, toys, and all the owner's equipment. So more flexible, probably more efficient, and that little bit of better top end if the client really wants. The other thing to highlight down here is considering this is now a much bigger engine option, it's got generators, water maker, stabilizer fitted, 
and yet look at the space it feels like you're on a 70 footer not a 50 footer amazing use of space down here very easy to get to everything you know daily check wise it's gonna be very easy for an owner operator to look after and do the daily servicing on this boat so enough of the engines let's come back up and we'll start looking at the layout and inside right so let's just shut the engine hatch up here again very easy on a nice seal keeps everything watertight now let's look at the function of this whole cockpit to interior saloon and how that links together seamlessly so let's shut this door up so we can actually see the whole function so fully shut you can see a nice drainage channel here across the uh, aft edge of the door which is very important because obviously once this door is opened so the personnel door locks into place nice and secure you'll see you've got a totally flush floor running through so you need that drainage channel it works and it looks nice to be honest as a feature in the cockpit but then what we can do is by pushing the button here is drop the whole half section of the door down open up this bar flap and suddenly we've extended the whole galley into the cockpit and the optional bar seats now really make sense as how they work linking the two spaces the other big difference to the 52 i think if you stand here and look through it now just really flows seamlessly together the furniture is lower the way the galley has been laid out when you look at it from here it now looks more like a bar and part of the integral furniture rather than a galley and it's not until you really come inside and walk into the galley that you really then see the storage the function uh, and everything you have at hand here and with that flap open and that door open it feels huge again you feel like you're on a much much larger boat so what we've done is built in the furniture now into the staircase and accommodated two huge refrigerator drawers in this under counter unit here now just with those two you've got great refrigeration away for a weekend for a few days but now you've got a secondary option coming forward with a whole second set of drawers now they can be refrigeration or freezer so depending on how you use the boat if you're doing extended runs away you might want that as freezers or just longer day trips refrigeration works very well but it's the practicality now you've got a beautiful serving serving top on top of this unit even within these storage areas here there's power there's even built-in storage behind this unit into the external steps which again works very well coming back here we've got the optional wine cooler so you're never going to go short of cold drinks on this boat forward of that you've got a bank of drawers which run all the way down to the floor here so again plenty of augment storage forward in the galley this whole bulkhead here is storage glass storage bottles crockery cutlery four burner hob oven optional dishwasher and then even over the top here you've got the extraction and then over the sink unit you've got the storage as well now if we just look up the lighting is a very good example it's just the lighting but a real feature coming to starboard side we talked about these shells but look at the stainless steel retaining rails here the bicolor of the woods you know, the mixture of the eucalyptus and the uh, light oak woods again make a real feature as you come through and you'll notice you come forward into the tv unit you've even got then got a mixture of lacquer the different light fittings everywhere you look there's small details that really make the interior stand out so we've gone from cockpit galley refrigeration all on one level we've come up two very simple steps and now we're into this sort of luxurious dining relaxing entertainment space that again you just cannot believe is from a 50 foot boat i mean the size of this i don't know if it comes out on the film that well but the seating here is more than ample for six people very very easily and then you have this movable 
um, seating unit here, which actually acts as storage underneath the top cushion as well, which can be positioned around the table. So you, you probably could dine six adults, two children, you know, a mixture of the two very, very easily around this table. Conversely, if you're sitting here in an evening and want the entertainment, you've got a 55 inch TV there, although it's on show, it's beautifully built into the furniture uh, with the surround sound system below it. And it just works exceptionally well. But the feeling from here is just look at the light, the windows, the glazing. You, you almost feel like you're outside. There's so much light coming into this area and it's all on the same level. You came up two steps, which is a nice separation from the galley, but then you're into one flat space. The only other raised section here then is coming to the helm. Small improvements, the helm seats changed from the 52. So you've got a very nice either standing position or with the bolster down, a very comfortable seated position. Side window, uh, the option of having two touchscreen Simrad nav screens, controls at the wheel. So again, when you're running, it's sometimes not so easy to get to the screens. So you've got full control from the buttons on the wheel here. The controls, the Zenta joystick, the thruster, it's all so easily at hand. And also just little details now, which they're small things, but make a big difference to the use of the boat. You know, the ability to plug an iPad in here, and charge and have it on screen. The phone charger, so this expands and will charge the phone wirelessly. Uh, USB points here for either charging or inputting data. And obviously the Sunseeker CM8 screen, which gives you control, not only of your navigation uh, functions, but lighting, air conditioning, AV, all from this control panel. So it, it's a beautiful helm area. Before you're here, it just links in very well with the rest of the interior. It doesn't, doesn't, it's not an eyesore on the interior. It links together beautifully. Port side forward, we've kept these huge storage lockers. I don't know if you can see in there, but absolutely huge. So for general storage, navigation charts, books, everything stores away in there very, very easily. So continuing on, let's go down to the lower level. The layout is the same as the 52 Manhattan. Um, but again, there's been tweaks to the detailing. So all the way through the boat, the lighting, let's just take a little look at this handrail where you've got a beautifully capped wooden top. Look at the chamfer on this end. You've then got a matching rounded stainless steel, real solid section underneath. And then that blends seamlessly into a round pole down to the deck. It's small things, but to me, these make a huge difference. The detailing that our clients are going to see and give a real perception of quality the more you walk through the yacht. So layout wise, we've got VIP forward as before with its own ensuite. We then have a twin cabin to starboard with the twin berths that we can see here. Great storage and obviously shares um, access to the ensuite. The door here gives you the ability of, of using the forward head as a day head during the day. So obviously you've got door access directly from the lobby here. And then coming down two steps, we come into the lobby for the master cabin. You immediately got the ensuite on the port side here. Great walk-in shower. The head and sink, again, feels very spacious with this size. You come down one more step and immediately you're into the lacquer, the detailing, the combination of woods, the lighting features. And it just, you know, look at the headroom, the full beam, the glazing. It, I, I would swear that I was on a much larger boat again. It, it just feels so spacious. And the amount of storage in here is incredible. You know, full size wardrobe here. You've got storage as you come in immediately with shelving and drawers. Port side here, again, immediately, you've got drawer storage, cupboard storage underneath, shelving for towels or clothes once you're cruising here. 
The starboard side on this particular boat has been set up as the breakfast seating, which again has storage underneath. But that equally can be just a bank of drawers if you're doing more extended cruising. It can become a chaise long. So very, very flexible all the way through the yacht, depending on, I think really just depending on how a client's going to use. They can really manipulate the interior to suit their cruising needs. So it's taken the Manhattan 52 interior and just really stepped it up another level in both practicality, finish and detailing. So, with any flybridge boat, the bit we shouldn't miss is the flybridge. So, let's go from here back outside and we'll go and have a good look at the exterior. So, up to the flybridge. First thing to note, hatch. Great for keeping the weather out, but also once you're up, shut this hatch back down and it just gives that added bit of security. If you're walking around, you end up accidentally stepping over, you're not going to go back down the stairs, so very important. Grab rail works very well around protecting this area as well. We see the R seating, again, scale of this. I mean, five, six people quite easily in relaxed seating. Open the table out, you could be dining here very, very easily for the same amount of people. To serve that dining area, you've got a great wet bar, refrigeration, ice maker, sink, option of another barbecue unit if you want it and if that sun gets too much well the bimini folds up and over gives a great shade over this spot and of course if you want there is an option of having a fixed hard top with a sliding sunroof in the middle so again flexible options depending on how the client is going to use the boat some other practicalities you've got a life raft storage underneath the seating there Full AV, so your, your speakers up on this deck as well, which can be either separated or linked in a party mode to play with the same as the saloon and the foredeck. Great drainage channel here. So any water on this deck is going to run to the centre point and then it drops down and runs out for these drains. So you get a very dry deck at the end of the day when you've been washing down or if you do get caught, caught out in some weather. So if we come forward, to the helm station again great use of space complete replica are down below with the twin screens the controls on the wheel everything again falls right to hand the controls joystick thrusters very very easy to use you've got the wireless phone charger as well which works exceptionally well and these seats you, you can see there i've got a nice sort of semi-standing position fold the bolster down so then you're fully seated and then it obviously will slide backwards and forwards and raise up and down depending on your height and how you want to get comfortable. There is this wind deflector as well. It looks very simple, but when you're sat or even in this semi-seated position, it does just push that wind up and over your head and makes a big difference. If you want it out of the way, simply push it back down. Port side, we've got more amazing seating again it looks so plump and comfortable and again you can imagine four people five people sat here very easily in front of the seating you've got probably got to be the best sunbathing or relaxed seating position on the boat particularly when you're running you know you can be behind that screen completely out of the airflow or even sat with your back against the console here with the best view on the boat when you're running. And let's not forget, we've had the great entertainment space in the aft cockpit and the bathing platform here with huge seating, dining capabilities, great seating when you're running. But let's not forget the bow itself, huge U-shaped seating, twin sunbathers, another table for casual dining or drinks at the end of the day. So. The amount of usable space on the 55 is just, quite frankly, incredible. So I hope you enjoyed looking through here at the showcase. And again, I would just like to thank you for taking the time to watch the video and hope you contact your local Sunseeker dealer as soon as possible to come and see this exciting Manhattan 55.